Here's five defenses. I'm starting here heading into week 14. The first one is the New York Giants. This Giant defense, they've really come into the zone now the last few weeks. And this team, they're playing well. I know it's a pretty tough matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals. But this is a defense I think you could start the rest of the way is the Giants. And we saw them last week versus Seattle put up 16 fantasy points. Was this Giant team holding Russell Wilson in that offense down with 10 points allowed Five sacks, an interception, and a fumble recovery. And this week versus the Arizona Cardinals, I could see Kyler Murray holding on to the ball too long, not doing much with it, and this front seven getting to him. This team, they're playing as a unit. They're playing better, and somehow they were only owned in 80. They're still available, I mean, in 84% of leagues and only owned in 16% of leagues. So this giant team is a team, if you need a defense and if you don't have a top D in the league, they're a team you should get and they're a team that I think could have a good week. The second defense I'm looking to start this week's the Washington football team. This week they got a pretty solid matchup, I believe, versus the San Francisco 49ers. And last week versus a great Pittsburgh Steelers team, they didn't do great. They didn't cause many turnovers or whatever. But they only gave up 17 points allowed with an intro. And this week, I see this team breaking out and having a huge week on defense with a few sacks, forcing a couple turnovers, and maybe finding the end zone. Washington, they were in a battle for the division. I know them and the Giants are 5 and 7, but someone's got to win it. And these two teams' defenses are catapulting them. And Washington, they're still available in 69% of fantasy leagues. But their defense, I like this week. So go out there and play them. The next defense, the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers, they're one week only type of defense, I believe, to have. And they got a great matchup versus the Denver Broncos that give up the third most fantasy points to defenses. And the Panthers, they came off two great weeks before this. In week 11, they had a huge fantasy day with five sacks, a fumble recovery, and a shutout on Detroit. And then week six versus a good Minnesota offense that had 28 points allowed two sacks but three fumble recoveries with two touchdowns so this defense they are all or nothing defense they're ball hawking defense as well and versus Denver I could see Locke throwing a few windows and then possibly finding the end zone in this one so I like the Panthers for this week having a good ball game the fourth defense I'm looking to start this week is the Seattle Seahawks they got the matchup of all matchups versus a weak New York Jet team that gives up the fourth most fantasy points the defense is the Seahawks. They've had double-digit fantasy points now in four out of their last five ball games. So this team's playing as a unit. They're improving, even though they've lost that last game to the Giants, which was a tough loss. They still only gave them 17 points. So this D, like I said, they're holding teams down. They're playing better. And versus the Jets, I could see them tee off on Sam Donald and that offense and have a huge fantasy day. So I'd like them. And the fifth and final defense is the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to start here. The Packers, they've been playing pretty well on D as well. And this week, they got a good matchup versus the Detroit Lions that give up the seventh most fantasy points to defenses. And last week versus Philly, it was a good ball game for this pack of D. 16 points allowed, seven sacks in an intro. And the week before versus Chicago, 25 points allowed, but three sacks, two intros, and a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And this week versus Detroit, I think we're going to see similar type of numbers four or five sacks, possibly a fumble recovery or two, and maybe a pick six or a return touchdown. So I like the Packers, and that's five defenses I like here heading into week 14.